Today on Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited, we make Hot Wheels cars go as fast as possible with acceleration. <laughs> acceleration is the rate of change in speed of an object. So it's just a scientific word for going faster? Exactly. Allow me to explain. Depending on how they're launched, these cars will have different rates of acceleration. The fastest cars will make it down the track and launch off the triple loop kit. Wow. Can we see that again? Wow. That one's going fast. Whoa. Some of them didn't make it. They didn't have enough speed to make it up the slopes. They decelerated. Decelerated? It's a scientific word for slowing down. Billy, we need to get back to speed. Those boosters should do the trick. Now we're talking. Three, two, one, go! The lanes with boosters accelerate the cars up the triple loop kit ramp. Whoa! The lanes without boosters decelerate as they approach the ramp. That was fast. Nice work, Z. The boosters increased acceleration, giving the cars enough added speed to clear the ramps. Whoa. <laughs> that was great. Now, let's go unlimited. We set up 48 boosters and 32 loop kickers to really accelerate these cars. Three, two, one, go. No way. Each booster adds acceleration, giving the car more speed to race to the end. That was sick. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! The loop kicker accelerates the car, giving it enough speed to race through the loop. But as the car comes out of the loop, it starts to decelerate until the next loop kicker accelerates it. Wow! Now let's see acceleration applied to cars of all sizes. Remember, acceleration is the rate of change in the speed of an object. Go-karts have engines that increase acceleration, just like how boosters increase acceleration of Hot Wheels cars. That was cool. Look how fast they accelerate around those turns. That was epic. Did you see that? Now let's kick it up a notch and see how a full-size car accelerates. Cars have engines that increase acceleration, just like how launchers increase acceleration of Hot Wheels cars. The car maintains its speed by continually accelerating, just like a series of boosters. That'll do it for this episode of Labs Unlimited. Three, two, one, go! We're gonna show you how to build the fastest Hot Wheels track by learning about potential energy. The steeper the angle of the track, the faster the car goes. The reason? A scientific principle called potential energy. Potential energy is the stored energy an object has because of its position. So the car on top of this track has potential energy before it launches. That's right, Z. Gravity is what pulls these cars down the track. The higher up the cars start, the faster they will race down the track. The Grupo X24 has the greatest potential energy of all the cars because it's on the tallest and steepest track. Roger Dodger has the lowest potential energy because it's on the shortest and shallowest track. That's right, Z. And when we release the gates, that's when it becomes kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy in motion. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Kinetic energy in action. Can we see that again? Grupo X24 is the winner. <laughs> All right, Z, you ready to go unlimited? Let's do it. Let's take a look at some of the coolest Hot Wheels track videos ever made. Epic gravity drop. Wow. Look at those super steep slopes. Ready, Billy? All right, let's do it. Three, two, 
one, go! Let's go to the Mega Ramp, one of the biggest builds we've ever done on the Hot Wheels channel. Whoa, look at those super steep slopes. Yeah, it's gonna give those cars some epic speed. These cars have potential energy, and releasing the gates allows them to convert that into kinetic energy. Three, two, one, go! No way! What? Oh! 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 Labs Unlimited, four teams of cars will compete in a relay race. Cars will bump, slide, and launch each other to the finish line. The fastest teams move on, and the others head home. This is the Bumper to Bumper Challenge. Whoa! I can't believe it! What's up, track builders? I'm Jabari. And I'm Chloe. And welcome to Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited. Let's see who's building today's track. I'm Chaz and I build this awesome bumper to bumper track. Ready, Ready set, build! Wow, that's an amazing track build. I love the launch into the infinity spiral. And using the box to create a stunt out the gate. We have these launchers as checkpoints. Jumps and loops add some action. Let's see how it works. Four teams of cars will race to see who can get the fastest time. Each team has four cars and they'll bump each other into these launchers. Which slide right over the track. The fastest teams move on to the championship round. But only one will be crowned the bumper to bumper champion. So let's get racing. First up, we have Team Street Wiener. I hear they've been training for months. Hot dog. Three, two, one, go! It's going so fast. Go, 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 go! And into the catch bucket. Yo, let's go. Team Street Wiener completes the first track in 8.86 .8 seconds. Let's take a look at some of those bumps. Ooh, Street Wiener's first handoff is a tasty one. That jump was sick. Linster Prototype transfers all its power to Lethal Diesel. Which sent Electro Silhouette into the catch bucket. Team Street Wiener opens the competition with a strong showing. Come on, let's go check out what cars are racing next. Team Retroactive is actively looking to win. This is an aerodynamic set of cars. But do they have the speed to back up their sleek design? Three, two, one, go! Whoa! It gets kicked around the curve. Made it! Team Retroactive posts 9.76 seconds. Not as fast as Team Street Wiener, but still a good race. Let's roll some highlights from that run. It twists and turns through that figure eight. And sent the crash barricade flying. What a stunt. That slide and launcher really adds some speed. Whoa, that was a perfect jump. HW Warp Speeder follows it right into the launcher. Scoopa de Fuego powered through those loops. You gotta love Twinmill with that stylish flip at the end. Wait, what's that I hear? 
That's right, Team Clip Rot is already revving their engines. Three, two, two one, go! go! Oh, is it out of control? Deora 3 spins loop after loop. It bumps the last car into the catch bucket. Now, let's take a closer look at that replay. Clip Rod tears through the loops. It got so much speed out of that launcher. Clip Rod had a close call at that popper. We're coming into the jump. Yeah, made it. And they got a final time of 11.64 seconds which puts them in third place. That was a good run, but it might not make the cut. And we still have one team left to go. Team Clear Speeder may look stylish, but there are some tough and strong cars in this lineup. Three, two, one, go! That's a clean start for Clear Speeder. The way it drives even sounds clean. Go, go, go! Yo, let's go! Good job, Team Clear Speeder. You advance to the next round with a time of 9.5 seconds. Let's take a closer look. And it launches through the figure eight. Everything about this run feels so precise. That got some serious air on that jump. Time to clear the slate. We're moving on to the championship round. Chaz is gonna level up this track build for our next race. Ready, Ready set, build! Yo, check this out. Chaz is turning and attaching the loop to the longer track build. And throwing in some extra stunts for good measure. Team Street Wiener posted the fastest time, so they'll go first. Three, two, one, go! I haven't seen anything go that fast. And backflips into the catch bucket. I can't believe that. That was so awesome. They dominated that track with a time of 9.38 seconds. Man, let's take a look at those replays. Street Wiener's nearly perfect off the starting launcher. Now that's classic Hot Wheels racing. The car blasted through those obstacles. Did you see that? That was awesome. This team had a strong showing on the back half of the track. Here's the final showdown. I'm ready to crown the champion. Team Clear Speeder is ready to prove that they have what it takes. Let's go Clear Speeder. Three, two, one, go. Cloak and Dagger makes the jump. Now on the big rig. And there's a slowdown out of the crash zone. Oh, all the way to the catch bucket. What was the final time? What, 9.26 seconds? What a run. We got to see that again. Clear Speeder had a blazing start. Those yellow gates sent the barricades flying. These bumps are straight fire. It sticks the landing. I haven't seen anything go that fast. It crashed through the stunt barricades. Races like these get me excited to build new tracks every day. And with that, Team Clear Speeder is the bumper to bumper champion. Wow, that was an amazing competition. Well, that does it for this episode of Labs Unlimited. A special shout out goes to our track builder, Chax. He raced, launched, bumped, jumped, crashed, and looped these cars to the finish line. Yes! Go! This is the Catch Bucket Challenge. This is the Catch Bucket. And this is the challenge. Today's build contains four catch buckets. And we're gonna see cars jump into every last one. Yes! Ready, set, 
Bill. Welcome back to Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited. I'm Chloe. And I'm Jabari. Today, four competitors will face off to become the Catch Bucket Champion. Each track leads to a bucket worth one, two, or three points. Our first track through the loops is worth one point. Track two goes through a wall of stump barricades for two points. The far track ends with a huge leap for two points. And our final track launches cars across the arena into a three-point bucket. Competitors can start with any track and adjust the loop to switch tracks at any time. The first to 25 points wins. Let's meet our competitors. I'm Blake and I'm ready for the Catch Bucket Challenge. Hi, I'm Jack. Samaya here. Hey, I'm Zinn. Are you ready for takeoff? Yeah, let's jump into it. Three, two, one, go! It looks like Samaya is choosing the crash lane to start the competition. And she breaks through to an early lead with a series of two pointers. Jack picked the hydro plane to start. Let's see if he can make it. Ooh, he sends one over the top. Zinn is starting with the big loop lane. He flips it in for a point. Made it. Whoa, Blake, you're taking a bold approach by starting with the long jump lane. It's the most challenging one to make, but it's worth the most points. But he drops one in for three points. Whew. And he drops a few more into the tall one. If he keeps this up, he could build himself a comfortable lead. Zinn is switching to the crash lane to try to score more points. That one bounced off the rim and made it in. Oh, yeah. he gets another one, but these points aren't coming quickly. Blake jumps into the lead. Whoa, look at this. Now she's connecting the loop to the long jump lane. And Samaya wow. drains the first shot. That was epic. Yeah, let's see if she can do that again. I can't believe it. Those points put some distance between Samaya and her competition. Jack must be feeling confident. He's adjusting the loop to the long jump lane. And he sinks another one. Jack is racking up a ton of points now. Blake shifts down and decides to work on the lane with the loops. Velocal Racer tears through that track. Nice shot. That's another point for Blake. The figure eight is a good way to rack up some points. It looks like he's switching to a different lane to try and catch up. That's two points for Jack. Ooh. That erupts through the barriers to make it in. Samaya is trying to go for another three-point shot, but it's proving to be a little challenging. Her competitors are catching up. She may need to rethink her strategy. Oh, he's switching tracks. Things are about to get interesting. Yo, let's go. What a shot, Zen. Now that he built a nice foundation, it looks like Blake is going for bigger points. Yeah, and he does it. It's all about the crash lane. Oh, and he pops one through the gate for two points. Blake just took the lead. Samaya is switching lanes again. That high jump is worth two points. Let's see how many Samaya can make. She missed the high jump, but still landed the one point bucket. And she hits one. What an epic jump. Oh, that car popped the red gate, but just barely missed. Jack took a risk going for those big points, but now he's falling behind. Ooh, looks like he's gonna give the high jump another go. And he gets it right into the cup. There's another one for Zen. He fires another one, but it gets caught on the jump. He launches another car to bump it in. That was awesome. Jack's picking up some quick points on this lane. Yeah, there Let's we go. go. T-Rex Troyer flips his lid for another point. Jack is setting himself up for a monumental comeback. Looks like she's switching to the loop lane to try to make up some points. 
and she's making shot after shot now. But will it be enough? <laughs> Jack's back to where he started. He must love that high jump lane. Nice! He drops another one in for two points. Jack and Blake are pulling away from the competition. Who's gonna reach 25 points first? That's another point, Blake. Blake's done about as much damage as possible on that lane. Now he's switching over to the high jump. Yeah. Blake sends that car flying into the bucket. Now Blake is closing in on 25 points. Can he bring home the prize? Ooh, that car lands on top of the box and stalls out. And he launches another car to shake it loose and into the bucket. That last shot puts Jack at 22 points. But Blake is one point ahead of him. Oh, wow. Jack is taking shots from both launchers at once. He's a crazy man. Bang! Bang! Oh. Absolutely incredible. Both cars went in. That's a wrap. And with that double shot, Jack wins the Catch Bucket Challenge. Whew. What a day it's been here on Labs Unlimited. I've never seen so many flying cars. Every competitor gave it their best. And each one an expert track builder, too. Here at Labs Unlimited, we love tracks that challenge our cars. And today's build does just that with a series of epic obstacles. Hey, I'm Jabari. And I'm Chloe. Welcome back to Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited, where today's track builders are standing by. Hi, I'm Tyler, and this is my little brother, Barrett. We built this track for the Obstacle Course Challenge. Let's see which car can make it to the end. Let's go! Ready, set, build! Here's the track our competitors will face today. This course is packed with creative obstacles. Each more challenging than the one before it. The fastest car to pass through the red barricade and land in the catch bucket will be the obstacle course champion. And the first car up is Clear Speeder. Go, Clear Speeder, go! It's going so fast. Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna make it further than that. Clear Speeder made it through the Hall of Loops, but crashed in the U-turn. Clearly it wasn't speedy enough. Next up, Night Dragon. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. go! Ooh, crashes right on the way out of the dinosaur jungle. That run is dragging me down. Let's see if Pixel Shaker can shake things up. Pixel Shaker makes it over the Monster Truck Bridge. Oh, but it glitches out in the Hall of Loops. Let's see what happened in those loops. Ooh, it gets jammed by a ball. Tough break. Scoopa Di Fuego is up next. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, it blasts through the first few obstacles, no problem. Ooh, Scoopa Di Fuego is Scoopa on fire. Yeah! Launches up the surfboard. Oh, but it doesn't seem to make it over the big rig jump. Solid effort there. That's one of the biggest jumps we've seen on Labs Unlimited. There are 15 large cars between the posts. And this obstacle's taken down more of our competitors today. Big Rig failed here earlier and was added to the Big Rig pileup. Steer Clear had a solid run, but met its matador. Hotwiler went barking up the wrong tree and ate it at the jump. And it's also where Cloak and Dagger lost its swagger. Let's see if our next car can make it past this massive big rig jump. Three, two, one, go! HW Warp Speeder gets through the dino jungle. It's going so fast! Wow! It launches up the surfboard and it lands the big rig jump! What a leap! Don't stop! Can't stop! Cause HW Warp Speeder's still going! Go, go, go! Will it make it? It's climbing, climbing! And HW Warp Speeder does it! It's the first car to complete the obstacle course challenge! We gotta see those highlights! HW Warp Speeder is nearly perfect out of the gate. 
Oh, it almost hit the ball in that loop, but it barrels through. That jump was sick. Amazing! Bear releases the cars in the avalanche. Oh, and it dodges all of them. It's climbing the Tower of Power. Look how it pops a wheel on the final climb, but look how it regains its footing and finishes the run. Go, go, go! What an amazing run! That puts HW Warp Speeder at the top of the leaderboard. Now let's see if Street Wiener can cut the mustard. Go, go, go! It got so much speed out of that launcher. Street Wiener blasts past the competition. That was sweet. That was one juicy jump. Go, go, go! That dog does not flop. Whoa! Ooh, ooh. And Street Wiener gets crushed by the avalanche. Ah, oh, bummer. I thought those buns would make it to the end. Those cars flew all over the place. That crash was something to see. Let's see if Clip Rod can cash in on this course. Cha-ching! Ooh, strong start. He's clipping right along. I'm so nervous. Will it make it? Whoa! That sleek design is paying off now. Now that's speed. Ooh, and Clip Rod drops through the beanbag hole. Let's back that up. I want to see the exact moment where it hits the board. Ooh, that was right on the money. Up next, Carbonator's going to pop the top off this competition. Let's go! It's really gaining speed. That's one, two, three loops. Sweet. Here comes my favorite part. Yeah, made it. Let's go! Carbonator chugs past the competition at the big rig jump. That little drink's got a lot of energy. This sprint has turned into a marathon. Ooh, so close. And fizzles out at the Tower of Power. Don't feel bad, Carbonator. There are plenty of cars that didn't have the power for that tower. It's taken plenty of victims. Mattel Dreammobile snored through most of the track, but it found itself in a nightmare when it failed at the very end. High Roller was on a roll early, but it couldn't hang on in the end. This massive boost tower is also where we said bye-bye to Bifocal 2. Not even the rocking Santa sled can deliver the goods. Time for our final competitor of the day, Linster Prototype. Three, two, one, go! This one is usually a strong performer on our tracks. Let's see how it does. Whoa! Here it goes through all those loops. It blazes up the surfboard. And rockets across the big rig jump. Linster Prototype hits full speed in the backyard. I can't look! It can beat HW Warp Speeder's time! Woohoo! All right! Linster Prototype, you are our obstacle course champion! Whew! Let's bask in those championship moments. What an incredible run to end that competition! Let's go! Linster Prototype did not disappoint its fans out there. Thanks for joining us for the Obstacle Course Challenge. Great job, Tyler. You too, Bear. You're both expert track builders. This is Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited. What will you build next? The possibilities are unlimited. We're coming to you today from the Sky Crash Tower. Here at Labs Unlimited, we like challenges. Now we have a challenge with crashes. This is, is the Sky, Sky Crash, Crash Challenge. Five competitors will each be given 100 cars. Whoever crashes the most cars wins. It looks like the competitors are all set up. Their parents set up the tower. They added their own batteries and they're ready to go. Now let's meet our competitors. My name is Lucas and I'm gonna win the Sky Crash Challenge. Hi, I'm Bijou. Hey, I'm Mateo. Woo! Hey, I'm Howie. I'm Jackson. Let's go! Did you hear that? What? It's the sound of competition. Let's start crashing some cars. Three, two, one, go! And we're off. I can feel the excitement in the air. Those 
boosters must be hungry because Callie is feeding them fast. Whoa! Did you see that? Callie is off to a quick start. You can tell that Jackson is really paying attention to his car selection. Bijou has a lot of cars rolling in her tower. Will she get a crash? Wow, what a crash! Yes, that's a point for Mateo. Ooh, Lucas with a huge crash from the start. Let's see that again. And there's a point for Lucas. Did you see that? I want to see that again. These crashes are epic. That's a point for Bijou. Jackson is halfway through his bucket of cars. Yes, that's a point for Jackson. We gotta see that one again. Jackson just took the lead. Let's see where the score is at. This is gonna be a close one. Mateo must be sweating right now. Bijou is racing through her hundred cars. What was that? A triple car crash? I want to see that again. Unbelievable. That's a point for Bijou. Hallie is running out of cars. Oh, awesome. Let's take a look at the replay. Look at all those flips and twists. Oh, there goes Mateo catching up. Oh, we gotta see that one again. Whoa, that crash made me dizzy. Lucas is heating up. Wow! Let's get a replay from the boot. I haven't seen a crash like that in years. That's a point for Jackson. Ooh, Mateo is all out of cars. Let's see if that score stands. It is coming down to the wire. This is too close to call. Hallie's about to send her final car. That was so cool. Let's take a look at the replay. There goes Biju pulling ahead. Lucas must be sweating right now. Jackson is out of cars. Hopefully the score stands. Amazing! That one flew over my head. Lucas just took the lead. Yes, let's see that again. Wow, look at that car go! Biju just used her last car. One last car for Lucas. <laughs> Amazing! That was a close competition, but in the end, only one person will be the winner. Our Sky Crash champion is... Lucas with 17 crashes. Ooh, no way! Huge score! One, go! Whoa! We're gonna show you how Hot Wheels race through loops. Today we're talking about loops. They loop, they make your car loop, and they look like a loop. Check this out. Let's see that in slow motion. Wow! The car's speed gave it enough driving force to move through the triple loop kit. Driving force? I think we have a thing or two to learn. Let's build some track. Driving force is the power or energy behind something in motion. 
Let's see which cars have enough driving force to overcome gravity and complete the loops. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! So some cars made it through the loops and some didn't. Looks like the car racing in the lanes closest to the gravity drop had enough driving force to overcome gravity. The car's speed gave it enough driving force to move through the triple loop kit. Oh! Driving force is the momentum that keeps the cars going to overcome the force of gravity pulling it to the ground. These cars didn't have enough driving force to get all the way through the loops. What's wrong, Z? Just so beautiful when they go fast. I agree. Ready to kick things up a notch? Let's go unlimited. Here we are at the Hot Wheels headquarters. This is the biggest multi-loop in the world! <laughs> oh. Shall we? Three, two, one, go! No way! We gotta see that one again. The car's speed gave it enough driving force to get all the way around the loops. What? You ready for more cars, Z? More cars is my middle name. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Go! Oh, look at that! I've never seen it like that before! Looks like the car had enough driving force to overcome gravity. No way! Yo! Wow! Whoa! Wow! I'm set up and ready to go. Just remember, Billy, the track can never touch the ground. Okay. Ready, three, three two, two, one, one. go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah. Today on Labs Unlimited, we challenge you to build a Hot Wheels track that never touches the ground. This challenge is gonna take everything we have. Ready, set, set build. build. For a build like this to work, you'll need a lot of speed. All right, here it goes booster to booster to booster. You think it's gonna work? There's only one way to find out. Three, two, one, go! Let's see what the track builders have accomplished. Go, go, go! Wow! Made it to the kitchen. Go, go, go! That was so close! That time, the car made it about 30 feet. Let's take a look at that again. Wow, that's a tough turn. We'll need to make adjustments if we want to go the distance. Let's add something to this track to see if it could perform a little better. All right, let's see if this car can make it a little bit further. Let's do this! Wow, it dipped so close to the ground! Let's go! Yeah! We're coming into the jump! Go, go, go! Wow! That try, it made it much further. Here's about where forward force hit the ground. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm afraid we're getting too much speed. Let's pump the brakes to hit this jump. That adjustment should help. Let's do this! Go, go, go! Do you see that? Let's go! Wow! That 
was it. It absolutely launched off that jump. I can watch that jump over and over and over. Yeah! Here it is, the home stretch. We're so close. It went about 90 feet. There's only 10 more feet to go. What could they do to fix it? Do you think it's gonna work? There's only one way to find out. Three, two, one, go! Yes. Awesome. Look how it rocks through those boost towers. No way! Oh, so cool. Here comes my favorite part. Yeah! That jump was sick. Here it is, the home stretch. Go, go, go. Onto the table. It's climbing, climbing, into the jump, straight into the bucket. It's not the same without the flame. Forward Force made it through the above ground challenge. Absolutely epic. So we know Forward Force can make it all the way through without touching the ground. Now let's see if Gazella R can make it to the end. Did you see that? Go, go, go! That was so close! That was amazing. Up next, we have Donut Drifter. Let's do this. Awesome! Go, go, go! I can't believe it. Oh, almost made it. Let's try out Gazella GT. Let's go! All right! Yes! That was it! Go, 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 go! That was so cool! Thanks for joining our Track Builder Challenge. We're gonna show you how to jump a Hot Wheels car as far as possible by learning about distance. Today on Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited, Distance! Distance. What? Distance is a measurement of how far an object travels while moving. Gravity is the reason cars stay on the track. And when that track is on a slope, gravity pulls cars down towards the ground, creating speed. More speed means more distance. All right, Z, you think our cars will jump over these ping pong balls? Only one way to find out. Three, two, two one, go! Oh, boom, success. What's next? Now, how about these baseballs? Okay, a little tougher. It's gonna be a close one. Go! The tall ramp has a sweet arc, but not a lot of distance. Skateboard time. For me, the long jump ramp is the best ramp. It has a mid-angle launch that sends cars high and far. I'm ready. Go! Oh, not quite. Maybe speed is what we need here. It just didn't go fast enough. Uh -uh. But what if we give it a little boost? Let's do it. This might be the best idea ever. More speed means more distance. Only one way to find out. Three, two, two one, go! Whoa! Sweet, it worked. The boosters increase the car's speed. More speed means more distance. Oh, Whoa, that was cool. Z, I think it's time to, to go, go unlimited. Let's take it outside for a long jump competition challenge. All of our competitors will have to race through the triple loop kit, then through a loop kicker, into a booster, and finally through the Revan launch to fly off the long jump ramp. The car that launches the farthest wins. Ready? Our first competitor is... Tooligan! Three, two, one, go! That 
was over four meters. Up next for the long jump competition, Rip Rod. Let's see how Rip Rod does. Ooh, Rip Rod grabs the lead at just under five meters. But can Slide Kick beat that? So close! Clip Rod is up for the challenge. I have a good feeling about Clip Rod. Whoa! Clip Rod takes the lead with a jump of 6.2 meters. Next up is LaFasta. That was insane. Nearly seven meters on that jump. Night Shifter is the last competitor. Ooh, can Night Shifter bring home the victory? Let's see if we have enough speed. What a launch! Whoa, that was some distance. Oh, so close! Congratulations to LaFasta, who jumped the farthest in the long jump competition. These loops are endless. They just keep going around and around and around. Around and around and around. I'm ready with my power rocket. I got my power rocket too. Let's see if this movie magic will work. Three, two, two one, one, go. Woo! Now that's quick. This is an endless loop where cars keep going around and around and around. We're challenging builders to build the biggest endless loops they can in their homes. Let's check out our first track build. Ready, set, set build. build. Our first track builder built this awesome loop in his bedroom. It's a small space, but he uses U-turns to increase the size of his loop. Wow, look at that car go. This track builder used two stackable boosters to climb up onto that drawer. Then it drops back down through the speed box. Boosters and drops are two ways of generating speed. This is mesmerizing. This loop works great. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so cool. Do you think we could add more cars? I don't see why not. Whoa, all right, let's go. That track builder did a great job making the most of his space, but I wonder what we could build in a bigger room. On to the next endless loop. Ready, set, set build. build. Let's see where this endless loop goes. More space means more awesome stunts. Whoa, look at that! We have a U-turn rally behind the couch! Where will this track go next? Oh, so cool. The car is racing through a final boost tower. And that, of course, brings it back to the start. It's moving so fast I can barely keep up with it. One, two, then three lanes side by side. Now that we know that the car can make it all the way through, why not add some more cars? Unleash the car. Look at all those cars running at the same time. This loop is lapping the competition. I think it's time we take this challenge outside. Ready, set, build. Look at all that space. Is it even possible to build a loop that big? We're about to find out. He's gonna need a lot of boosters and a lot of track to fill this space. Oh! Is it gonna make it all the way around the trampoline? It will, with enough power. This thing never ends, and we're only halfway through the first loop. It hits that boost tower and travels over the bar of the climbing house. Go, go, go. Yeah. There's a triple loop down that straightaway. Wow, 
I'm so nervous. Will it make it? Let's go. All right. It completes the first of many endless loops. That was epic. That was some distance. This thing never ends. He has booster after booster after booster. I can't take it anymore. This monster loop is hungry for cars. Let's feed it more cars. Let's do this. Look at all of them go. Here it is, the home stretch. This might have been our best track builder challenge yet. Whoa, that was awesome. Today's challenge brings a whole new meaning to sibling rivalry. Two brothers will work together to build an epic track. Then they will bash and crash each other on that track. In the end, only one will be the winner. This is the Crash Course Challenge. Ah! Wow! Did you see that? Ah! Welcome to Hot Wheels Labs Unlimited. I'm Chloe. I'm Jabari. And here are our track builders for today. Hi, I'm Gleason. And I'm Jay. Here are the rules. The offensive cars run on the orange tracks, while the defensive cars run on the black tracks. The offense tries to score goals by landing in the yellow bucket. And the defense tries to block them by crashing cars at one of these crash zones. Jason Grayson will both have a chance to play offense and defense. The track builder with the most goals at the end of three rounds wins. Let's go! Ready, Ready set, build. build! All right, here we go. Jace will be the first to play offense while Grayson plays defense. Three, two, one, go! Oh! What? Jace scored right away. Let's take another look at that. Grayson released his cars a little late here, but he'll get another chance to crash. Three, two, one, go! Oh, crash! Oh, that's it? Grayson answered their first goal with a quick crash. Whoa, Pixel Shaker reaches the intersection for the first clean block. Ooh, no point for Jace. Three, two, one, go! Goal! Yeah! <laughs> Audacious hits Speed Driver but keeps going. Oh, that car jumped right over the top. That's two goals for Jace. Let's see what Grayson can do on offense. Time to switch sides. Three, two, one, go! Bullseye, he hit him with Twin Mill. Those cars just explode. I could watch this crash again and again. Three, two, one, go! And onto the scoreboard with his first goal. In the replay, we see Lethal Diesel just barely misses. Knocks it out of the air with rocking Santa sled. After round one, it's two to one with Jace in the lead. Let's see if Grayson can recover in round two. Each round, the crash course gets bigger and more challenging. Whoa! Look at this track build. Our brothers added a second crash zone and more defensive lanes. This track is action packed. Let's do this. Three, three, two, one, go! Ah, oh, yeah! so close! Jace gets through the first crash zone and rounds the curve. Grayson's waiting to strike at the gravity drop, and he does! That's huge for Grayson. Three, two, one, go! It speeds through the crash zone. There are cars flying everywhere. Yeah! Oh, and it drops into the bucket for another goal. That was awesome! Three, two, one, go! If Jace makes this next one, he'll really extend his lead. Yeah! Ooh, so close! Grayson got the block! We gotta see that again. And Head Gasket heads off Clear Speeder at the goal line. Grayson held Jace to a single goal in round two. Now they'll switch sides. Three, two, one, go! Looks like Grayson's first car is Clip Rock. Made it! He makes it through the first crash zone. 
avoids getting crushed by Lethal Diesel. And he gets hit in the air again by Jace. One more time. Kick it, but stop. it gets kicked around the curve. Oh, he gets the block. Let's take another look. That collision was huge. Grayson has one more chance to tie it up before the final round. Goal! Grayson ties it up. Let's see that again. Its front flipper tosses clear speeder aside. We're on to round three and it's all tied up. The brothers have leveled up their track again and it's looking pretty epic. More crash zones and more crisscrossing tracks. All right, Grayson and Jace, let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Two, three, go! Let's see some of those highlights. Scuba de Fuego blasted through the crash zones. We have red barriers flying everywhere. Ooh, that was sweet. Oh, Electro Silhouette shocks the competition. Oh, that's a much needed block by Grayson. And with that, Jace is down to his final car of the day. Three, two, one, go. Retroactive is back in action. Grayson just lets him through the second crash zone. Oh, Grayson, you timed that perfectly. And he stops it in the final crash zone. I can't believe it. Okay, it's Grayson's turn on offense now. He needs two goals to win. That's not going to be easy. Three, two, one, go! Donut Drifter is off. Jace is sending everything he can to make the stop. Oh, yeah! let's go! Donut scores a goal. We got to see that replay. Grayson ties it up with a chance to win. Grayson wins with just one more goal. Three, two, one. T-Rex Destroyer rocks through the first crash zone. It stomps its way through the red barricades. Yeah, yeah what a goal. Yeah. That makes Grayson the winner. I, I can't even believe this. That was the most insane finish we've had yet. T-Rex Troyer is the MVC, the most valuable car in the Crash Course Challenge. And that means that Grayson is our Crash Course Champion. Way to go, Grayson. What a day, what a track. What a competition. A special thanks goes out to Jace and Grayson for building with us today. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Labs Unlimited. Today on Labs Unlimited, we're gonna be filling up containers in your home with Hot Wheels cars. Let's see if you're up for the challenge. Okay, track builders, are you ready? Three, Three two, one, one go! <laughs> <laughs> Today on Labs Unlimited, we're gonna see how many Hot Wheels it takes to fill up. A durable? Sure. A backpack? <laughs> Why not? A dresser drawer? We can do all those things. But what I wanna know is how many Hot Wheels it takes to fill up this swimming pool. Let's start building to that cereal bowl. Delicious. Ready, Ready set, set, build. It launched into that cereal bowl. They're gonna need more cars. It goes so fast. Look at that release. Through one, two, three loops. Whoa. Made it! All right! Check that out! It's hanging by a thread! I bet it can hold one more car. I don't think so. That bowl is full. That cereal bowl holds over 20 cars. Let's see what else our track builders have filled with Hot Wheels. Ready, set, fill! Wow, check out this build. These center two lanes lead to long jumps that send the cars into the backpack. The backpack is a lot bigger than the cereal bowl, so we're gonna need a lot more Hot Wheels cars. Send the cars.
We're gonna have to keep sending more cards. Awesome! It's really filling up now. I can't believe it. That backpack holds over 200 cars. You know what's cooler than hundreds of cars? <laughs> what? Thousands of cars. Ready, Ready set, build! build. All right, what do we have here? Hold on to your underpants, because we're about to fill this dresser drawer with Hot Wheels. Send the cars. Awesome. Made it. That's a lot of work. Well, we have a lot of cars. Did you see that? This is mesmerizing. Wow, there's almost 2,000 cars in that drawer. This final track is gonna blow that number out of the water. It's time to find out how many Hot Wheels it takes to fill this swimming pool. Ready, set, build. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's keep them coming. Keep those cars coming. We still have a long way to go. Right, the bottom is completely covered with cars. We're about halfway there. I didn't expect it to be this epic. This is amazing. Over 20,000 cars can fit in this pool. But I bet it can fit at least one more. Is that what I think it is? That's right, it's the remote control car. If you wanna add another car, we gotta add another track. Look at that, no boosters. That's right, Roger Dodger has its own turbo boost now. Let's see that again. That is some epic air! Ah, it's like a cherry on top. That jump was sick! You ready for the trick shot? Let's do it. Go! Whoa! Today, we're talking trick shots with trajectory. Trajectory is the path of where an object will go when it moves through the air. The angle of the ramps determines the trajectory of the cars. So it's where I think a car will go when I stunt it off a jump. You got it. Oh, look at that. The triple loop short ramp has a low angle trajectory. The car launches really low to the ground. This ramp is good for trick shots where the car needs to launch close to the ground, like skipping a rock on water. While the triple loop tall ramp has a high angle trajectory. The car goes high in the air. This ramp is good for trick shots where the car needs to go high, but arc back down, like shooting a basketball. I swished, that was a swish. No, it actually missed. Small ramp is like, nah. But the tall ramp is like, hey, stunt time. Exactly. Whoa. That was cool. The cars get more air with the tall ramp, but they go farther with the short ramp. The long jump is giving these cars great distance. It has a mid-angle launch that sends cars high and far. Oh, almost. That was great. Now, let's, let's go, go unlimited. unlimited. All right, so Z and I already love the triple loop. Now it's time to step it up to an improvised quad loop. I'm gonna put everything we learned today to the test. So let's do this. Let's do this. 
Three, two, one, go. Oh! <laughs> Let's see that in slow motion. The triple loop short ramp has a low angle trajectory. Whoa! <laughs> this ramp is good for trick shots where the car needs to launch close to the ground. That was epic! All right, I'm gonna prime this rev launcher. Are you ready for the trick shot? Let's do it. One, two, three. And I'm gonna catch the car using this orange stunt box. I don't think that's tricky enough. Using this blue speed box. Also not tricky enough. Using this yellow catch bucket. There we go. Safety first. All right, Z, you ready? I got circle tracker right here. Three, two, one. The angle of the ramps determines the trajectory of the cars. Yeah. That was sick, dude. What are you doing? I got a trickier shot for you. What? Three, two, one, go! We gotta see that one again. I've never seen it like that before. That was sick. That was epic! That'll do it for this episode of Labs Unlimited. What will you build next? The possibilities are unlimited.